What's up gangsters? Hello and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be moving away from all that braille drama stuff. Now that that's done, swept under the rug and finished for now, we are going to be taking it into some slightly more serious allegations. Obviously, most of you guys are going to know who Chris Cole is. From the title, you obviously know this video is about Chris Cole. He used to be one of my favorite skateboarders of all time, like some of his tricks, some of his parts, absolutely impeccable. But with all the stuff that has come out, I've got to say, I can't really be supporting what's going on at the moment. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but the allegations are pretty serious. And that's what we're going to get into in this video. We're going to start off with going through all like the posts and stuff on the slap message board. Then we're going to watch the video that his ex-wife posted. Then we're going to see what his son said about all this because his son did actually speak out and not in the way that you might think, to be honest with you. And then we're going to go into Chris Cole's profile and see if he's made any response to this whole situation. So with all that being said, the first thing that we're going to get into is the message board. Now, this is just a breakdown of the whole situation. This is the Instagram post from Chris's ex-wife. We're going to get into the whole thing in a minute. But yeah, this is the first place I saw it. Oh, and by the way, one more thing. One industry skateboarder that you would never expect to message me actually hit me up and told me about the situation, told me I should speak about it. They've asked to not be in the video, so I'm not going to include it. But a bunch of other people have asked me my thoughts and opinions on this as well. So that's why I'm now getting into it now. And apologies for the delay on all this stuff, because I feel like stuff like this needs to be spoken about and we need to see both sides of the story. So with all that being said, let's get into the first post. So this is where I saw things first of all. So it says Chris, real name James. I don't know if you guys knew that, but Chris's name isn't actually even Chris, which is like crazy to me. I did not know that until I started doing deep diving into this video. But yeah, so Chris, real name James Cole, apparently violently abused his ex-wife and mother of his children. She's gone on social media to reclaim her name because obviously her name is Christine. And as we go through this, you'll see that Chris told her that she's not allowed to have the name Chris for short because that's his name and he's more famous. But yeah, anyway, we're going to continue. So it says, abused his ex-wife and mother of his children. She's gone on social media to reclaim her name. Cole made her stop using her real name Christine because he wanted the appropriated Chris to be exclusive to himself. That's a mad ego right there if that's true and instead made her use her red as a nickname also the color of her name got to be one of the grossest examples of sexist objectification you could come up with i'll highlight the line until one day he nearly took my life imagine feeling that threatened by your spouse like so obviously straight off the bat some serious allegations here and when it comes to like threatening someone's life obviously next we've got a few reddit posts but this is basically just people like discussing the whole situation there's no concrete proof here although they do say in one of these comments that the zero team and also so Chris himself are deleting and banning any comments and blocking anybody that brings this up in their Instagram comments and stuff like that, which is a mad sus thing to do. Like that kind of screams guilty in my opinion. But I can also see that if you're not guilty, that you'd want to get all that stuff away from you, all those allegations away from you as possible. Because some people just read the headlines and comments and then just take that as gospel. But yeah, so they've been deleting comments. And actually, as it comes down to it, before we get into the main post, as I was then about to push record, one of my friends hit me up and he showed me this right here. This is a message message from Zero team, you can't really see it. I'll put it on screen. I'll screenshot it and put it on screen. But basically, it says for immediate release, Zero and Chris Cole parted ways on 9th of July 2024. That's two and a half weeks ago. So, yeah, Zero has dropped Chris. But let's get into the post here because this is the main thing that we're looking at. So, this is from Christine. It says, I realized the other day that I still have a ton of trauma from my former life. My name was taken from me. It wasn't a choice. When I told my ex my name, he replied, That will never work. We can't have the same name, and I'm more famous, so I win. Plus, I've always wanted a red. That is literally what was said to me. I was instantly their property and treated subhuman. I hated it, but lost the battle and it stuck for far too long. He took my name away and then systematically proceeded to take away everything else from me thereafter. My education, my career, my control, until he one day nearly took my life. I kept that all quiet for a long time. The details are still hard to say out loud. It feels icky to bring up. My story makes me feel dirty and unwanted and I'm working on that. I have been afraid to hurt people's feelings by correcting them, but didn't realize how much I was hurting myself. I have PTSD from the violence I dealt with and that's an easy way to trigger it. I usually stay quiet and then go home and cry. I know no one means to do that to me and I need help to stop it. I'm not mad at anyone for calling me that name. I should have spoken up sooner, so please do not feel bad. Redzy was a name my family would call me as a little kid, and it held a special place for me. I didn't want other people calling me Red or anything like that. Hopefully one day I'll have it back and Redzy will rise again. So, as you can see, 
this is the post right here and everything that she wrote in text that i just read out is what you will see right here and then obviously so hi my name is christine or chrissy if we're buds change my name on your phone and please do not call me red obviously she's trying to break away from that past life trying to get rid of this name trying to get rid of this whole history that she has with chris and to be honest as someone who's alleging domestic abuse, I can see why you would want to leave that behind you. Now, we do have a few more things. We have a video here that kind of tells, like, at first, I always see these things and I take them with a grain of salt, like these allegations and stuff, because in the social media world and in, like, the famous skateboarder world, you're always going to have people that want to bring in allegations, but you need to see both sides of the story and then make a judgment of their character. Like, with previous situations, we've been able to judge their character and then use that to point us in the right direction of if it's true or not. But this one, I think we need to play a bit of this right here. So for context, this is Christine on the left, and this is an excerpt from out of a small podcast. So let's jump on this. And he started yelling at me and pushed me on the ground and just started choking me. He pinned my legs down and he just started choking me and banging my head against the ground in the garage. Um, and like, part of me just couldn't understand what was happening. But then like, it just felt more and more pressure on, on my neck. So I tried to grab his groin, but I couldn't, it, it just didn't work. Um, See right here, a lot of people in these situations, they don't seem like they're speaking the truth, especially when they're not. Obviously, you can kind of tell. But this woman right here, the way she explains it, I actually, at first, obviously was skeptical. But really, I do kind of believe this woman. Like, the way she's acting, the way she's not keeping eye contact, she's nervous, she's obviously uncomfortable talking about it. I can see that this might be true. And we're going to get into what his son said about the whole situation, Chris Cole's son and her son. We're going to see what he said about the situation in a minute. But I'm just going to let this clip play for a second. You know, I just had all this like self-defense stuff going through my mind from mm. probably from podcasts that I listened to and that didn't work. So I tried to scratch at his eyes just instinctually. I, I cannot even remember why that was what I decided to do, but I was losing air. So I had to do something. And in my mind, I thought, you know, if I could get DNA under my nails, at least they, someone would know what, would, what had happened. Um, so he let go, and I didn't know this until recently, but he let go because my daughter had walked in and saw what was happening, and she said, you know, Dad, stop. He yelled at her to go back upstairs. I didn't hear what he was saying, but he had told the police, and I found out later that he had told the police that um, I just attacked him out of nowhere, and that's why he had scratches on his face. And they asked me, so a lot of these things you'll find that in these domestic abuse cases, the person that's guilty or like had the allegations put against them can oftentimes try and flip the script to be like, no, nah, they started it. They attacked me first. It's all self-defense. It's very common that you see that in these kind of cases. If I had made the scratches on his face and I nodded yes, and I didn't say anything else because I was too afraid. They took me to the police car and, um, and just took me away. And as they were taking me away, I asked the police officer, you know, why am I being taken away? He's the one that choked me. And they said, well, you didn't tell us that. And I said, well, I didn't know I was being arrested and you didn't ask me. Like, I have bruises everywhere. Um, see, if that is true, see, the first thing that I always think about in these situations is if you've been violently abused, you're oftentimes going to have bruises, marks and stuff like that. Like me and Holly, we get bruises and stuff just from play fighting. So for something this violent that she's explaining, I can see that she would have a lot of bruises or marks on her skin. And especially if you've just been choked, you would have neck marks. And at this point, I was kind of thinking to myself, uh, is it true, though, because she's not really shown any of these things or any proof or anything like that. But but the son statement is what really teeters it in her favor in my opinion you know what do i do and just kind of didn't say anything so i just sobbed fucking wept the whole time and i remember i got we got to the, the vista courthouse and i remember him asking the intake clerk you know can i just take her home she shouldn't be here see that is something that you would say if you were trying to get her away from the police before she could make a full statement against you. So that makes sense in my opinion. This whole story looks like it's adding up. And that was so heartbreaking because I knew he wasn't going to be able to take me home. And she said, no, she, paperwork has already started, so she has to be processed. Um, so then I go to the, the other, like the female correctional facility or whatever. And I never got fully booked, I guess. Um, the, the case had been dropped. 
Um, do you think do your you daughter think saved your life? Um, no one's ever asked. You see, these like these scenes here are obviously quite Hi. sad to see. It's obvious to me that she's not faking this stuff. Like, unless she's a top tier actor or actress, then I cannot see a world in which she is faking this. But again, I could be wrong. These things have to be seen from both sides. From what I know, I did see a post from Chris Cole on Instagram addressing this whole thing. But as far as I'm aware, it's since been deleted. But anyway, this video here, I would highly recommend you check it out if you want to listen to it properly yourself. I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, now we're going to go on to what Chris's son said. So Chris basically, obviously with all this stuff coming out, Chris Cole's son opens up about his mum's alleged abuse. Obviously, this is shredder news, so they've been known to get things a bit here and there every now and then. So take this with a grain of salt. Again, this is posted one week ago. This basically says, Zero skateboards, or we should say X zero skateboards, professional skateboarder and two-time skater of the year, Chris Cole, has been making headlines due to the alleged domestic abuse he inflicted on his former spouse, Christine Flanagan, formerly known as Red. As we previously reported, Flanagan exposed what happened to her and Cole revealing her experience as an alleged bad wife during their marriage in the new Robert Brink Show podcast. After the interview was released, Cole son Wyatt opened up about his mum's alleged physical and emotional abuse via his social media account. Wyatt shared some very personal details claiming that his mum was a victim of domestic abuse in his post Wyatt said I've seen what my mum went through and she deserves to have the space to tell her story and how it's affected our family he added she deserves support so if you value me as a friend or her as a person show her that you stand with her and who she worked to be mum I love you. Wyatt's words reflect his deep love for his mum and his hope for her to get the support she needs. The situation has brought attention to the serious issue of domestic abuse and the importance of supporting survivors. So yeah, this situation here has clearly is a big one. Like Chris Cole, one of the most popular names in skateboarding, at least used to be. I don't know if he's going to be after this. But Chris is obviously in some hot water right now. I mean, like, we got this clip from the Nine Club here when it was brought up on their podcast by a donation. Cooler, come on, cooler. Cooler, cooler, hey. cooler. <laughs> Please bring where's Chris? Sorry, oh. Chris Cole. Uh, yeah, I don't know too much about it, uh, uh, honestly, cooler. But thank you for the donation. We appreciate yeah, always you, appreciate bro. It, bro. I love yep. cooler, dude. Back in the chat, man. man. So, yeah, they basically just say how they don't want to talk on the whole situation. But I feel like if Chris Cole is guilty and these things need to be put out into the world, like if Chris has done all these things and he thinks that it's going to be just swept under the rug or forgotten about because he's a super famous industry pro, then... It's not really the case. People need to speak out about stuff like this. And the fact that Christine has been brave enough to do so, I would say Chris has got some explaining to do. Now, a disclaimer, I have watched many clips from Chris Cole building up to this to try and get like a proper character reference, refresh my memory on how he acts in podcasts. And to be honest, I can see things from both ways. Chris seems like a stand-up guy, but a lot of the sociopaths or people that do this kind of thing have a great persona that they put on in front of the camera. And then when the doors are closed and it's just them someone else things can change drastically i've seen this happen in other cases in other industries but yeah as far as i'm aware as far as i'm thinking from my personal opinion it's looking kind of like an 80 percent like guilty i would say there's not much chance that christine is lying especially with the son speaking out too and in my personal opinion if that's the case and chris comes out and he can't like debunk all this stuff or doesn't have all the proof and receipts that he needs to try and clear his name if that's not the case then chris should be boycott from the industry in my Opinion. Even though he's been one of the best throughout the years, you still have to hold people accountable for this kind of crime. We all know domestic abuse is one of the weakest things a man can do, especially when you're attacking a wife, and for the son to know about it as well. It's tragic, man. My thoughts go out to Christine and the family. I would highly recommend you don't go to Chris, don't go to Christine, don't go commenting on all their stuff. This is just a video to let you guys know what the situation is and give you my thoughts and stuff on it because a lot of people have been asking me in the DMs. But yeah, that's about it from this one, guys. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>